We're going one on one with the new Lieutenant Governor, Winsome Sears. She's been on the job just over two months now. Our Annalisa Gale sat down with her in Arlington to discuss some top of mind issues. Annalisa? Hey, Michelle. Lieutenant Winsome Sears was at a nearby conference hall in Arlington for the Black Republican Trailblazer reception where she received an award, actually. Tonight, we talked about education and the concerns over higher gas prices in recent weeks. In terms of the governor, he was very focused on education when he was running. Do you feel like he's made some good decisions uh, so far? The governor put out an executive order that said to the parents, if you want to mask your child, you may do so. Certain people got up in arms about it. Here in Virginia, we won an election and uh, the governor comes out with this, this uh, executive order. We saw that a lot of the city council members were saying, well, it's up to the school board to decide. What were your thoughts when you realized that the school boards were able to make that call on the masking? They have a job to do. We understand that. And so what the governor said was, follow the instructions of the school board let the cases play out in the court. What do you think the next school year should look like? I think this next school year should be a normal school year. Here's what we know. In Virginia, most private schools, if not all of them, were open. We need parental school choice. We saw Maryland drop their gas tax, and we know the governor wants to do the same thing here in this state. Uh, what do you think about the holdups? We on the campaign trail were saying we needed to get rid of or at least delay the gas tax for a whole year way back. I, I remember talking about it back in August. And here we are today with the gas prices that we have. We need to be energy efficient again. We need to be net exporters of oil. And Democrats have said that they do not support the temporary reduction in the gas tax in Virginia because it supports the state's transportation and infrastructure budget. At the Alert Desk, Annalisa Gale.